we are getting into the Kaladesh Deck Builders Toolkit. Um, we're working our way through the Kaladesh block. Um, when it comes to the Deck Builders Toolkit, it actually started in 2010. Um, and they just, they kept going. And the idea was, um, there was a hundred, there were a hundred lands in here. There were some regular staples and there were a couple booster packs and that you could get a couple decks started right out the gate. Um, so here you go. You have your contents. So we've got the 125 semi-randomized cards. Uh, the 125 are from the current blocks at Kaladesh would have been in standard. Four 15-card booster packs. Um, then we got 100 basic lands, 20 of each. And then this also comes with capped lands to help augment that. And your reference guide, your full art, reusable card box, which is what this is. But yeah, including the packs, we've got... 285 uh, so we better get started and cracking this open what's funny is is when I saw this the original MSRP was actually $24.99 so 25 bucks um, I paid substantially more than $25 um, but that gave me a chuckle seeing the original faded price tag think there we go and oh, so we'll slide this on out inside we have our magic the gathering by mark rosewater head designer i think in the meantime he's had a promotion or two so hello fellow magic players um a little bit of the history. I remember when Magic Duels came out. And I also remember when it shut down. And we had Arena show up. And I was kind of upset that none of my cards came over. Here are the official contacts for Magic. Social media. Uh, the different uh, MTG information your local magic community awaits always whenever you can before you jump on the box stores try to support your local game store your lgs uh, whenever it's reasonable um, i know in my past that sometimes the uh, lgs's have taken advantage of well they want to price things that they see them going for online and Sometimes the prices go way up and you can find it cheaper. Um, so, you know, shop with your dollar. If you, you know, if you can't buy responsibly at your local game store, then do what you got to do. And sincerely, Mark Rosewater, Magic Headed Design. So that was the uh, Discover the World of Magic book that comes with your Deck Builders Toolkit. All right. Next, we have our cardboard box. I'm going to go ahead and slide this bad boy open. All right. So, got some of our seal decks. We have a red. We have a white. Our four booster packs. All there. So, we have two from Kaladesh. Slide this out of the way. Eldritch Moon. And Shadows over Innistrad. And we'll be cracking those open. In a bit. And we have. So you have your box. It's got this little holder. So you can kind of use it as a spacer. Uh, to keep your cards from falling over. And then as you fill it up. Yank it out. I keep a hold of these. Because they are great. For holding singles. Just your random bulk. Um. And then, of course, we have a gold one and then a dotted gold. So, 
here is what comes with the booster box or the tool, uh, the deck builder's toolkit. Then we have our magic quick reference. Um, this is actually really great for somebody when they were starting out. It has, so you have kind of the land you need, the dual lands. Um, they have a couple staples in every single pack that aren't randomized. The idea being is that you can build a couple different decks with a couple different layouts, give them a try, see what you like, sit down with a buddy and mix and match. And then you have your boosters at the time. This was standard. And this was our standard set um, to make something you can play. So we have all the setup, parts of a turn, combat phase, the ending phase, how to cast spells, a lot of the stuff we have now, magic duels. Um, then we have our Keladesh poster, the five colors. This is, if I remember correctly, this is actually quite large. Because magic itself is quite quite large place. So you had the different uh, planes, kind of what they stood for, what the colors were about. So you had your death and power... Manipulation and trickery, protection and armies, nature and life, fire and emotion. Um, and then we also have some of the, uh, off to the side, we have the five colors. White, some and small. <clears throat> Blue, we got the flying. Destroy creatures, mostly play it from the graveyard. So that's that. And on the other side, we run into the, uh, jump to the step five. Uh, step one, sort your cards, find key cards. So this is actually setting up a deck for your first time. Focus your deck. I don't think you guys can see this. Add your lands. Play and refine your deck. Um, so that's just how to build it to get you going. Because I remember when this all started out, Magic started out, there was no limit to the number of cards you could play. And it was just absolute chaos. And I'll have to watch this video to learn how to fold that back up to by watching in reverse. Okay. So we will start with the red, and there has to be a pull tab, yep. Otherwise, why would they have a little red tab? I'm gonna pull the top off. So, for the non-semi-randomized, uh, you're going to get your Aegis Angel for your white, your Sphinx, a Magosi, Magosi, yeah, and Nightmare. Shivan Dragon, and Soul of the Harvest. That way, you can do one of the five colors. And then we have our other non-randomized. And these are all going to be based off of these five. So I'm going to push these out of the way real quick. And we will go ahead through, take a look. So we have Sarah Angel, Aerial Responder, Marked by Horror, Cather's Companion, Puncturing the Light, Sigardian Priest, Steadfast Cathar, Avery, Aviary Mechanic, Impeccable Timing, Inspired Charge, and for Blue, Air Servant, Long Thin Sky Whale, Disperse, Pieces of the Puzzle, Stitched Mangler, Exultant Cultist, Take Inventory, Take Inventory Again, Tattered Haunter, Revolutionary Rebuff, and for our black, Swamps, Sangry Vampire, 
Murder. Mind Rot. Walking Corpse. Dead Weight. Sanitarium Skeleton. Olivia's Dragoon. Skurs Drag Supplicant. Succumb to Temptation. Lawless Broker. Cone of Flame. Incendiary Flow. Borderland Marauder. Magmatic Chasm. I have gone into red, and none of you stopped me. <laughs> Magnetic Chasm again. Pyre Hound. Sangu Sanguinary Mage. Tormenting Voice. Brazen Wolves. Galvanic Bombardment. Galvanic Bombardment again. Hey, it's green. Incre incremental Growth. R. Borback Stomper. Oaken Form. Quilled Wolf. Watcher in the Web. Icky Bug. Grapple with the Past. Prey Upon. Kujar Seed Sculptor. Larger Than Life. Wild Wanderer. And for Artifacts, Explosive Apparatus. Terrarian, Filigree Familiar, Consulate Skygate, and Self-Assembler. So these are the staples in which you would start to build your deck. And give you a little try of everything. Um, you know, now we have Jumpstart, the Arena Start Kits. Half a dozen pre you know, pre-con decks. Um, and you could just grab a toolkit. Get going, get to building right then and there. Alright. So we jump right back into our artifacts with a self-assembler. And these are gonna be the uh, tap lands. So Cinder Barons. Meandering River, Submerged Boneyard, Timber Gorge, Tranquil Expanse, Forsaken Sanctuary, Foul Orchard, Highland Lake, Stone Quarry, Woodland Stream, and these should be all planes. Just kind of take a quick look at some of the artwork. Nothing over the top, nothing crazy, but all the same, these are all from the Kaladesh uh, set. Got our islands. More swamps. Okay. And I'll repeat after that. And I'm assuming with our gold, the first one are all, are all lands. And yep, it is all lands again. So I'm not going to make you sit through that. Because honestly, I think we're all waiting to see what's in those packs. Because honestly, you can kind of Google, hey, what's in these? All right. And so we have some more artifacts. Prophetic Prism. Call of the Bloodline. Olivia's Bloodsworn. Incorrigible, Ute, incorrigible Utes. Furry Blade, Fury Blade Vampire. Murderous Compulsion, Stormkick Mentor, Fiery Temper, Insolent Neonate, Baldurin Duelist, Olivia's Dragoon, Another Prophetic Prism, Pour Over the Pages, Geist of the Archives, Noose Constrictor, 
Sumberwald Stag, Watcher of the Web, Icky Bug, Drag Under, Exultant Cultist, Turn Aside, Prey Upon, Larger Than Life, and a Prophetic Prism, Spiteful Motives, Fairgrounds Warden, Skywhaler Shot, Brazen Scourge, Cathar's Companion, that is a happy puppy right there. Guardian of the Pilgrims, Steadfast Cathar, Make Mischief, Cathartic, yeah, Cathartic Reunion, Spireside Infiltrator, and a Prophetic Prism, so I think we have plenty of mana. Compelling de uh, Deterrence, Reckless Scholar, Ghoul Steed, Failed Inspection, Ghoul Caller's Accomplice, Ingenious Scob, Spontaneous Mutation, Cemetery Recruitment, and Graph Harvest, and Wailing Ghoul. So those are from the last field pack. So as you can see, we've got a stack of each color. Um, give you some good choices to mix and match. Um, plenty of dual tap lands, artifacts, get you to get you started so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these aside and make room for our packs you know, load up in our handy dandy box and then we'll go ahead with our swamps islands our planes forest, our mountains, our tap lands, and like I said, so if we don't have that happen, go ahead and drop that spacer in, however it went in, now I'll keep it hopefully from flopping about. I will book in here as well. On to our packs. Let's go ahead and start with Innistrad. We'll go with Shadows over Innistrad first. Alright. Here is our happy werewolf. Okay. Did you ever open any of these Innistra Shadow Over Innistrad packs? If you did, what were your big pulls? Find anything fun or anything you needed for your deck? Let me know down in the comments. All right. So for our comments, Stitched Mangler, Militant Inquisitor, Ghostly Wings, Hound of the F Far Bogs, Senseless Rage, Explosive Apparatus, Baldarian Duelist, Watcher of the Web, that icky bug again, Vampire Noble, for our uncommon, Stentia Masquerade, Cult of the Waxing Moon, Pack Guardian, Inexable Blob, me after a buffet for our rare, Convicted Killer, which is our flip card, Branded Howler, And a clue token. And then with these cards, when you have one of these flip over cards, obviously you can see the back side, but you put this in your deck that covers it up. Um, and you will just go through and find Convicted Killer right there. And you would either check that off, make it obvious, circle it, whatever, or you can black out all the others to mark what the other side is, if need be. All right, let's go ahead. Eldritch Moon. All right, have you ever dove into the Eldritch Moon? Were you even playing at this point? Um, if you did, find anything good. Looks 
I murder this wrapping. Okay. We'll dive right in. Spring Sage Ritual for our commons. Galvanic Bombardment. Cemetery Recruitment. Primal Druid. Throbbing Foulbloods. Turn Aside. Alchemist Greeting. Field Creeper. He's having a bad day. Spectral Reserves. Uncommons. Geist of the Lonely Vigil. Advanced Stitchwag. Or Stitchwing. Huh. Give No Ground. And for our rare, Permeating Mass. Man, that is a big ass of something. <laughs> and we have our Shrill Howler on the other side. Howling Chorus. And another one of our cards. And an Eldrazi Horror for our token. Okay, well that takes care of our... Eldritch block. Shall we get into the main event of Keladesh? And before I do, I do want to check. I don't remember. I do have a couple of the meld cards from Eldritch Moon. I think they're all rares or mythics, anyways. Um, that's our flip card. But yeah. Wanted to double check. I did know that they were available. I had a couple of those and sold my Ember Cool. So, all right. Well, we'll start with our commons. Fragmented, fragmented ties. Fail inspection. Demolish. Cow pred, uh, prowler. Malthus squad. Commencement of Festivities. Impeccable Timing. Fire Forge Puzzle Knot. Curio Vendor. Chandra's Firolex. For our Uncommons, Iron League Steed. Engineered Might. Malthus Doorbuster. For a rare demon of dark schemes. Oh, that's a mythic. I cannot read colors. <laughs> All right, score for the mythic. Flying. Whenever a demon of dark schemes enter the battlefield, all other creatures get negative two, negative two until the end of the turn. Whenever another creature dies, you get energy, one energy counter. Pay two in a swamp and pay four energy. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control tapped. That is a nasty beast right there. And a servo token and a planes card. All right, last pack. All right. The Dalkin Blade Master for our commons. Terror of the Fair Grouse. Fairgrounds. I love these gremlins. They're ridiculously adorable. Thriving Ibex. Night Market Lookout. High Sphere Artisan. Let's move up a little bit more. Inventor's Goggles. Giant Spectacle. Impeccable Timing. Consulate Skygate. Curio Vendor. Make obsolete. And I am putting uncommons in the wrong spot. Photolic Brawler. Morbid Curiosity. And for the rare Toolcraft Exemplar. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control an artifact, Toolcraft Exemplar gets plus two, plus one until the end of the turn. If you control three or more artifacts, it gains first strike until the end of the turn. Not bad. An island and a Thopter token. So there you have it. That is a deck builder's toolkit from Keladesh. Uh, some staples, some really good cards. 
We did score ourselves a Mythic, um, which is pretty sweet. Um, thank you again so much for watching. I'm going to continue on with this uh, Keladesh block. So I'll have more products to open up and show you. Um, please take the time, if you can, to like, share, and subscribe this channel. And if you're looking to support this channel, if you look down in the description, I have several links posted. Uh, whether you want to use Patreon, I do have that set up uh, where you can pick out a different tier, get cards. Um, follow me on social media. Everything's there. Well, I hope you all have an awesome day and thank you for watching.